rhythms. Different people. First off, let's start with some background about Spike DDB. Well, Spike DDB is coming upon his 15th, 15th anniversary, and is a, a co-venture with myself and DDB. And it started out from me just being a hired hand, a hired gun on commercials, and I wanted to do more than just execute boards. What is the relationship between your own film style and what you bring to advertising in your work? Well, I don't always direct all the commercials that, uh, you know, it's not a given that I'm going to direct the commercials that come through, through Spike DDB. I think that's the way it should be. But the way I look at it is that, for me, I'm a filmmaker. So for me, filmmaking encompasses a Michael Jordan commercial, a Michael Jackson video, documentaries on Katrina, Malcolm X, Do the Right Thing, short films, all that for me is filmmaking because for me that the thing that ties all those things together is that this is about storytelling. You know, the, the spots with Nike, we had 30 seconds. Malcolm X, we had three plus hours, but it's still storytelling. So you just have to be able to adapt to the form that you're working with. Having ideas and, and being able to push things out, whether a, a brand is paying for them or not, is not necessarily in, our, in, in constricting us. Spike is a, is a filmmaker, but he's not only just doing films or waiting for 20th Century Fox to come knock on his door to ask him to make a film. You know, he finds projects to do. He goes out there and uh, finds things that interest him uh, creatively. And we try to take the same approach. I mean, he's the inspiration for our whole culture in the agency. So we try to start there, start with the man and being able to kind of exemplify and have the agency truly represent uh, what the name says on the door. I mean, obviously, a lot of the earlier work was, well, I wouldn't say a lot of it, but some of it was controversial, you know, and like to, like to kind of push the envelope a little bit. Is that something that you're still striving to do uh, at, the, at the agency? People ask me why you make controversial films. Number one, I think that word is misused, misunderstood. And number one, I'm a storyteller. So I don't, when I decide to do a film, I don't, I'm not like thinking like, what the f is my next controversial film going to be about? <laughs> no. My thinking is, what story do I want to tell? Mm -hmm. Now, maybe some parts of the subject matter, people might seem controversial, but it's not just controversial be controversial. And I think that's the same way we work at Spike DDB. We're there to serve the client. But we want to take a different approach and not necessarily go straight down the middle and come with stuff with a different, a different slant. But people know that. If people want some stuff straight down the middle, they're not, they're not coming to Spike DDB from the get-go anyway. Dabo, why don't you elaborate on what we call the New Americana, please? What we do is we, we call our target audience the New Americana. When it comes down to, you know, do you only do African-American work or are you multicultural, which is now new, the new buzzword for doing Hispanic work, um, <laughs> the, the truth of the matter it's codes, is... codes, codes. <laughs> codes, so, it's all coded. Um, the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, yes, it is black. But yes, it is white, and yes, it is Hispanic, and yes, it is uh, Native American and, and Malaysian. <laughs> I see you. Uh, but it's everything, and, and also it's... it's oh, you're Filipino. Oh, <laughs> That's an inside, inside joke. joke. Inside joke. And really what we do is not just like one psychographic or one demographic of, of people, but really it's a study of shifts in culture. And so... As uh, Rihanna Bay likes to say, what's new, what's now, what's next? Um, it's, it's us keeping our fingers on the pulse of that. And I think that's what really clients need to know. Without kind of re really kind of 
uh, being bad on, on these brands is that they have to make it make sense from a dollars and cents standpoint, right? They have to say, okay, well, we have a, we have a certain amount of budget throughout the year. Okay, maybe you do something that is targeted, and that's fine. But uh, from a media standpoint, are you exposing it to everybody? Are you saying, well, this will only appeal to people of color? This will only appeal to uh, Caucasian people? I mean, I think that's just like a, a, a flawed way of looking at things. And I think one of the, one of the great things that uh, Spike DDB as an agency has, has always worked towards, even before I got there, was always to blur those lines and always to challenge clients to think outside of those constraints because ultimately it's not good for their brain. But I think that we get, a, we get in this trick bag, I think we start talking about uh, race and color, especially pertains to African Americans. So when Phil Knight said that me and Michael are gonna do this Nike commercial, he's not doing that just thinking that only black people are going to buy Nikes. He's not doing it only thinking that only black people are going to buy Air Jordans. That's, that was global. So the powers that be always try to do the okie doke Because once they put this thing on, like once you get past a certain level, you're not black anymore, you're universal. Will, Will Smith, he's not black, he's universal. Michael Jackson, he wasn't black, he was universal. Is Jay-Z black? Yeah. He's, I mean, they, they, <laughs> they, yeah, he's from Brooklyn. <laughs> and thank goodness for, for brands like GM that we work with, who happen to be a large um, conglomerate. I mean, it's just, it's an amazing, it's the size of that thing, but the fact that we're able to still work with them and they're still able to kind of see our truths and willing to take chances. And although, sure, we're maybe on paper the, uh, African American Agency of Record, you know, we just did a Major League Baseball campaign for them that had nothing to do with specifically African American. It had to do with Americana. It had to do with lifestyle. It had to do with baseball. And, um, you know, whether you're a big brand or a small brand, I mean, the, the reason to, to come and work with Spike DDB is because, not because you make decisions based out of fear, it's because you're, the, the unknown excites you. And, and, the, and the young brands, the ones that are coming up now, are, are being built by people who do understand this. And so they are able to build their whole business platform and structure, you know, on the realities of, of this new world. I mean, you know, people have started to recognize that, yeah, the face of America is changing, you know. And w you know what? I, I agree. I disagree with that. You turn on TV today, watch films today. The diversity of this country is not reflected on our TV screens and on our movie screens. Why is that, do you think? Because the gatekeepers don't reflect <laughs> the diversity of the country. At the, at the end of the day, our specialty is to, to make noise and to touch on culture and to be able to be a part of something that uh, not only speaks to the masses, but touches everybody on an individual level. Um, the ability for us to do that and to have Spike in the office and for him to be able to look at the work and, uh, you know, give his opinion and for him to be able to come in and be like, mm, that's not working or I love that, always kind of keeps us grounded and always kind of lets us know when our, our compasses are, are, are hitting the target. This is probably the most important thing I'm going to say today. Maybe. <laughs> And it's something that brands and corporations don't understand. The United States Census Bureau has said, by the year 2035, white Americans are going to be a minority in this country. A minority. So if I'm running a business and the people, my employees, do not reflect this new Americana, if, if the work I'm putting out is not, whether it be movies, TV shows, whatever. And the smart people are gonna be the ones who are, who've, already, who've already started. I like yeah. to have our people from Spike DB stand up, oh, Leah sure. in front, so everybody just take a quick look at them. This is, stand, stand up, turn around. Now this is diversity, this is the new Americana right here, people. <laughs> what I'm talking about, diversity. The visionaries have seen this happen 10 years ago, even before. United States Census Bureau came on and said this. And they've started to adapt because they know 
they're going to be able to survive. And the companies that don't do that, they're going to be dinosaurs. So, um, yeah, where do, you, where do you see Spike DDB in a few years? You know, we got to continue to fight, you know, and uh, do good work. You know, this is a very, this is a tough business advertising. It's not for the for the meek. And you know, we gotta keep swinging. Um, I think where the culture is going and and where we've mapped out that we want to go is kind of uh, on the same track. We we we'd like to really blur the lines of, I don't know, maybe even get rid of the. Uh, I don't know, I have to talk to Spike about this yet, but hold up there. I don't know. <laughs> But maybe even like get rid of the, uh, the, 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 the label of being an advertising agency because I think on some level that really restricts what people think we do there in, in, in between the walls. What's the word? I'm, I'm working on that. <laughs> We're going to engineer that back at the agency today. Any final thoughts, Spike? <laughs> oh, thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.